it's Rosalind. I am so glad you're here to garden with me today. Today we're starting the last big wave of cut flowers from seed. And um, we're like four to five weeks away from our last frost date. So I have a whole bundle of seeds that need to be started. And I'm also going to be transplanting some tomato seedlings into bigger pots because look at these roots. I can get it out of here. They're growing out. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but they're growing out from under through the little holes at the bottom. So I think they need to be put into bigger pots so they can keep growing. But I'm just going to run through the seeds that we're starting today and I'll throw pictures up on the screen so you can kind of see what they look like. So the first one is a cherry caramel phlox. And I have never grown these before but I'm very excited to be using them in bouquets. And then a vintage white straw flower, a Zinderella peach zinnia, Oklahoma pink zinnia, and an Oklahoma white zinnia. Then the next package, these say four to six weeks before the last frost. So we'll be okay on them. Um, but it's a Celosia pink champagne a white mignonette, apple of Peru, and this will just be for fo foliage, like as a little filler to make the bouquets look prettier and fuller. Um, this is a corn cockle, ocean pearls, and this will also be like a filler flower. And a calendula bronze beauty. This I really want to use as, um, I want to make a salve with it. I'm going to experiment with this one. And then Jewels of Opar. Now this one, it says it should be started six to eight weeks before the last frost. And somehow I got it mixed into the four to six weeks. But um, I'm still going to try it because they're so beautiful. They're like this airy little filler flower for bouquets. So we're still going to be planting that one. And then I have a Salmon Rose Zinnia. I'm just going to do a few of these because I like them, but they're not my favorite zinnia. Um, and then a scabiosa, scabiosa? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's, it says it's an excellent cut flower. So we're going to be planting those as well. Double click mix cosmos. Absolutely love these in bouquets. And then an apricata cosmo. I have never grown this one before, but that soft peachy color, oh my goodness, they'll be gorgeous in bouquets. So I'm going to show you how, like I already have a seed starting video up um, of how I start um, cut flowers from seed, but I'm going to do one, just one little flat to kind of show you how I do it, um, just to give you kind of an update on that. This is my bucket of soil. That little brick has turned into this whole bucket full of soil. So my little tray, I, I put the soil in. I try not to press down too much so the roots have, like, so they can breathe. They have room to grow in. So I kind of temp it down on the counter and it's settled down a little bit more. Just add a little bit more soil. Pump it down again, and we're almost completely filled. So that looks good. I'm going to plant the seeds in here. Oftentimes on the back of your seed package, um, there's directions on how to start or plant your seeds. And this says to just cover the seeds lightly. So that's what we're going to do. And these are the Cosmo seeds. I'm just going to place one into each cell and cover it lightly. Once the seeds are planted, I go in with my little spray bottle and I just give it a light mist to moisten the seeds. Once I've done all of that, I place my seedlings my seeds that I just planted into this tray. This will be to bottom water my seedlings. I place my tag in so I remember what I planted. Place this dome on top. 
and the dome keeps the humidity in to aid in ger germination. Then I place it somewhere warm until they have germinated, and then I place them under grow lights, and that is all there is to it. This is the container mix that I'm using today. Whenever I do like vegetables or fruits, anything like that, I'm transplanting them into different containers. I use an organic mix just because it makes me feel better. So these are the little pots that I'm transplanting the tomato seedlings into. I'll bring the camera down so you can see it a little bit better. So the tomato seedlings are transplanted. I have three different varieties that I'm growing this year. So excited about them because, well, I've never grown these. One is a pineapple, and this is like an orangish, yellowish tomato, and a black beauty. This is a purple tomato, so I'm very excited to try that one out. And the other one is a beef steak. So I hope this, this video has been inspiring to you, and it gets you excited to see everything that will be growing on our cut flower farm this year and maybe even inspires you to plant a few of your own seeds so thank you for being here today i hope it was helpful to you and i will see you in the next video